All right, uh, families uh, driving up to grab some meals at Community Center on the east side of Indianapolis are driving away with a little inspiration for their kids, especially if they love art. Yeah, Arts for Learning in Indianapolis sending some extra inspiration along with every family in need that pulls up to get a meal. Randall Newsom has more. Hey guys, I'm joining you from the Windsor Park Family Center, and this is a place where a lot of giving is going on, and they're doing it in a couple different ways. They have two projects going on. We're going to start with the one, the food program. I'm here with Tequila, who's over that. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. good. Okay, so for you, this food program, I know it's taken a big spike since COVID-19 yeah. started. Uh, yeah. How's it been for you guys? So we've been extremely busy. Of course, all of us are doing our part. We have up, increased our numbers, so we're doing 10 mobile sites, eight family centers, in addition to coming out here at Windsor Village on Wednesdays when they do their food pantry from 11 to 1. So they give out 150 food boxes to families. In addition, we're here, we're making sure that we give out meals to the children, and uh, through a partnership with Second Helpers, we're able to also give the families a take, take and bake that they can prepare for dinner the night awesome. as well. You guys incorporated art. Why did you guys decide to make these articles a part of what you guys serve to these families? So as we've been out in the community, we've been seeing the children, we've been hearing the stories of the families and how they're struggling with e-learning and trying to keep the children uh, involved and not making sure that they're staying on the right course. And so we had an opportunity to partner with Arts for Learning and to provide some audibles, which are just some activities for the children to do to kind of continue to stimulate their minds, have them think outside of the box, and all the items are prepared for them, and we give it to them, and we're excited to see these on Friday. Awesome, Tequila. Thank you so much. we got to piggyback off of that and talk about project number two with Sarah of Arts for Learning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you. Good, good, good. Yes. Okay, so the second project, mm -hmm. SOS. Tell me about this. Yeah, SOS um, is, it stands for Signs of Solidarity. Um, and so a few weeks ago, we were just talking about how um, so many more people are out and about right now walking because there's not a lot you can do. You can't go anywhere. So what can we do to create a sense of community, to um, bring a sense of solidarity, um, and just give hope to folks out there? So we came up with Signs of Solidarity. Um, briefly, it's just 100 signs as a start until we can figure out how to make more. Um, with two goals. The first goal is first to employ some of our artists. So the artists are getting paid to create these signs actually because we have over 70 artists that we employ but are almost completely out of work right now because we send these artists to schools traditionally to bring their art form to students. And then number two um, is the sense of community, to build that sense of community as people are out and about taking walks. So um, so we encourage folks to get out and take a walk. You can pick up one of these signs at one of the indie food distribution locations um, and stake them in the yard. So there's only 100 as a start, so get out to one of these centers and see if you can pick up a sign. Awesome. Sarah, what do you want people to take away? A lot of people are driving through trying to pick up basic needs like food but they're walking away with a little bit more what do you want them to take away um, I think what I like them to take away and what our organization would like them to take away is um, the hashtag that's on the back of the sign it says Indy keeps creating um, creating can really um, create a deeper relationship with those around you and and help you pause for a moment to reflect. So I hope their takeaway is just some inspiration to create something while they're at home or out in their environment um, to get through these hard times. Awesome, guys. Another way that the community is rallying together to inspire and help create opportunities for people during this COVID-19 pandemic. 